Hello guys, today we will discuss about the preparation of the activated carbon. So before talking in detail about the preparation or the procedure, we should know first of all what is biochar. Earlier in our uh, so many videos, we talked about biochar. So biochar is basically obtained by pyrolysis or burning, whereas the activated carbon is, you can say it's a biochar that has undergone the chemical or physical activation now at temperatures between the 1000 to 12000 fahrenheit you can convert that into degree c the biochar or you can say the biocoal product undergoes the transitions to a pure carbon material through carbonization at these temperatures approximately 75 to 90 percent of the volatile components in existing in the material are basically eliminated as compared with the traditional activated carbon, the main advantages of the activated biochar or you can say the activated carbon is that the feedstocks of the biochar productions are abundant and low cost which mainly is obtained from the parent raw material like agriculture biomass and the solid waste. Now, typically the activated carbons are made in particulate forms as powders or fine granules that has the size less than one millimeter with an average diameter ranging from 0.15 to 0.25 millimeter and they present a large surface to volume ratio with a small diffusion distance biochars or activated carbon can be basically used in a lot of applications like water treatment using in biofilters or filters also it can be used in adsorption making membranes since they are porous in nature and they have a high surface area and abundant surface functional groups. Actually, we can use a lot of acids, a lot of bases or other chemicals to activate the biochar. And uh, for example, we can use potassium hydroxide, potassium chloride, sodium hydroxide, sulfuric acid. But we have to see the, uh, the nature of the uh, chemical that we are using. It's, it should be less lethal, less corrosive and also it should be cheap so these are the best um, i mean possibilities like i told you earlier a base or acid can basically activate our biochar to have a higher surface area and a lot of i mean abundant surface functionalities now shortly we will see how to prepare the activated carbon in the laboratory hello guys today we will learn how to prepare activated carbon using a fruit peel so here you can see this fruit peel is a pomegranate fruit peel okay uh, which was collected in my house it was dried in the sun and now the next step is what we need to do we will add this into this grinder make a fine powder and then we will further add this to an acid or a base and then we would prepare the activated carbon this is my finely powdered uh, fruit peel now next step is what we will transfer this to a plate and then we would sieve it now generally for sieving i prefer this sieve which will give me a very fine powder this is the unsieved portion and this is the sieve portion this we will be using for making the activated carbon for making powders i prefer this uh, grinder uh, which can rotate at 28000 revolutions per minute and the capacity maximum it can make 150 gram powder and the power is 950 watts so i prefer this one to make powders now the next step is to weigh the powdered mass okay so we would weigh around 10 grams here what we will do we would activate the powder and then paralyze and then we would take the raw one and then and then paralyze then we will see the difference between the pristine biochar and the activated biochar
this is around 10 grams. There is a slight change here, I took around 60 grams because I want to make a more amount of the activated carbon. So what I will do, I would be adding this to the 1 molar of HCl. Now the most important thing is what should be the ratio of acid to liquid to solid and or solid to liquid. Here we would take 1 is to 3 and part of the acid, sorry 1 part of the solid to 3 part of the liquid that is our aqua solution here is HCl and we would add into the uh, 1 molar of HCl. So already you, you saw in our videos that how we prepare from I mean uh, the highly concentrate to the lower concentrate acid solutions. Let's start with the activation and we would activate this at room temperature for around 1 hour. So this is our 1 ml. So we have to prepare for uh, to 1 molar in 500 ml. The volume of the acid would be around 41 ml and then we would add to uh, first of all we will take some amount of water and then we would add to the then we would add acid and then we would uh, make up to the 500 ml. Now I have already transferred the required amount of acid to the water which is the diluted one. One molar and prepared in 500 ml of the deionized water. So what I will do now I will transfer this to the powdered sample and usually what I do I add a bead so that it shakes well. You can soak also and we will put this the whole assortment in the fume hood because this is an acid which release fumes. Now I have added to the fume hood and this is my hot plate. I will keep the temperature at room. So let me keep this. Okay. Now let's wait for one hour and then after one hour we would remove away the acid and wash it and dry and then paralyze it. Now the next step is washing of this soaked biomass. After washing we will dry it. So usually for washing you can centrifuge or you can filter whatsoever suits us. So we will do it. So I will skip this step. So I will just after that I will dry and then I will show you the, the dried biomass and then we will pyrolyze it. Now this is my dried mass after activation with the acid. Now I will load them into the tube and pyrolyze it. So just for demonstration I am going to add load the activated biomass and going to burn it. Then show you how does the activated carbon exactly look like. What we will be do, what we will be doing, we will be burning this for uh, at two temperatures 500 and 600 and the duration would be half an hour only to show you the yield and also how does the activated I mean carbon exactly look like. So we load down 2 grams going to load these uh, activated biomass to the tubes and then burn it for half an hour. Already I have loaded the activated mass in the tube and started the oven. Let us check the parameters. Activating time is 0 and it is 500. The pyrolysis is going on. Uh, it was a problem here with the plug. So I changed the plug. Now pyrolysis is going on. You can see here. 1 minute gone or more 29 minutes go. After that we will pyrolyze the 600 degrees C and check the yield in both the cases. Now the pyrolysis has stopped. What I do I will leave this here and then start the another pyrolysis till we wait for cooling. Usually you can also ship this to the desiccator. So I have kept the sample for another pyrolysis. So this one we will do at 600. This, uh, here again no waiting time so we will put 600 and then start this is my yield we took around 2 grams it's, the final mass is around 0.61 this is the yield for my 600 degrees C activated carbon so we took 2 if we su subtract this from so it would be 1.70 There is a minor correction here. In the first case, it was 0.61. So, if we divide 0.61 by 2, so since initially it was 2, so this would be around 
this is around 30 percent 30.5 percent yield and uh, this one is this is around 15 percent yield if you you can see here the yield in case of the first one at 500 degrees he was uh, 30 percent and here the yield is around 15 percent yield so the yield has significantly dropped when we are raising the temperature in our next consecutive video we will be talking about the surface morphology of the prepared activated carbon so don't forget to like and subscribe keep watching so if you look uh, at each other this is my biochar prepared at six five hundred and six hundred so if you look them there is no significant difference but for further experimentation and try out we need to make it powder crush them using a motor pistol or a grinder as i showed you in my video and also we need to be uh, careful about the diameter and its size what size we want and what are the sizes as i talked earlier what should be the size of biochar or activated carbon or what should be the diameter